to go. He was phenomenal. And there's a guy uh, on, on the coaching staff, Greg Popovich, who was you my know coach. Well. Know him very well. Steve Kerr, who's on the staff, one of my former teammates on our 1999 Spurs championship team. Devin Booker, who was outstanding in that semifinal game with 20.7 for 10 from the field. But congratulations. Excited that they're bringing home the gold. There's the Iceman, George Gervin, head coach of the Ghost Ballers. How about that defense by Tr Trilogy? Yeah, speaking of an all-time great spur, Iceman. Oh, good block by Johnson. Ricky Davis saves it. And that three Alex hit Scales. by Alex Scales. And it'll be interesting, in, in our last game, Jody Meeks was on fire early to start the game. Jack Alley-oop. Amir Johnson. See, that's a little bit of a set play there. Jack comes off a screen, little back pick there. And the big fella goes up and catches and finishes the line. Coach Avery said it. They have four players in double figures in their last victory. Over three's company. I'm talking about the Ghost Ballers. Very consistent. Jack, nothing but net. Well, and even though Briscoe did a nice job, you know, in their last game without Jack, they need to trilogy needs Jared Jack if they, if they want to make it to the Bahamas. Here's Scales. Working on James White. Gets the screen. And he'll lay it right up and in. Jack, the crossover, and the three. Pick and roll defense, we talked about it a lot in game one. Are you switching? Are you gonna maybe jump out and show what's going to be your pick and roll coverage? Are you gonna force the ball handler one way? Ricky Davis was like, hey, he fouled me. That was a jump shot. The white group. Here's Ricky. Rebound Jack. And knocked out of bounds by Ricky Davis. Steven Jackson, the head coach of Trilogy. Of course, he played for the Killer Threes last season, but now coaching. I saw Captain Jack this morning. He had a, he had enough food at breakfast. He, had, he was taking his room to feed four people. I said, who's that for, Captain Jack? He says, for me, man. I need my energy to coach. Yeah. You don't have to worry about playing anymore. Jack, no. Amir Johnson to follow, yes. You can see Jack has just come out. He's, he's trying to keep the pressure on the defense. He's really aggressive to score. Here's Chris Johnson for a big man, great touch. Yeah, you know what I love about the big three, whether it's Chris Johnson, Isaiah, Austin. You know, we just got so many big guys that can handle the ball. They're not one dimensional. That one tipped out. Scales has it. Tied up at nine. First team to 25, we go to the half. That's an air ball by Scales. It's interesting how coaches respond on shots like that. You know, he takes a three, airballs it, and it doesn't even rattle his coach, Dr. Uh, George Gervin. <laughs> He's like, okay, you'll make the next one. Oh, good love by James White. Two point lead for Trilogy. Six point for Amir Johnson. Ricky Davis. Ricky Davis. Tied up at 11. Again inside, Johnson shot block. See, that's excellent weak side defense, Ricky Davis. We always talk about see the man, see the ball. If you don't see the ball, then you get beat in that situation when you're only worried about your man. And then it's a form of being unselfish on defense. Here's Jack with the handle. 
that shot comes off. James White with the follow. And it is. Absolutely. He's in great shape. The scales gets the screen. Kick out to Ricky Davis. Pretty Ricky is what they call it. You know, one of the things I also love about the big three, three guys from our open tryouts made their teams. Two on Bivouac, Tony Cresswell, Corey Jefferson, and we have Devin Sweeney with the trilogy. They can need him. They can use him. James White. So next year when there's big three tryouts, I think we're going to have an even larger group of players trying to make these teams. And the great thing is that they lowered the age, so now guys like 22 can come out and try out. Ricky Davis missed that one. James White's got it. If I start my own team, you think I'll be better at playing or coaching? I think you do both. <laughs> be, be the first player coach. Nice pass. Inside the Amir Johnson, he drops it in. He had really good pass, had a mismatch in size inside. And it's good when big guys really catch the ball high, finish high, don't bring it down low where a smaller defender, you can get stripped. White to Jack. Look at the handles, look at the handles by JJ. And that's a good way when you drive into the basket. Instead of going up on the strong side, use the basket, reverse layup, take away the shot blocking in that situation. That stops a 7-0 run by Trilogy. Trilogy now five points away from the half. Jack again. Jared Jack's a one-man show, nine points now. You start to see this time of the year, teams are really desperate because you, you're going to run out of real estate in terms of trying to improve your record to be one of those top four teams. Ricky misses the three. Here's White from the corner. Davis again. Pump fake. He'll go to the line. We have a lot of guys in the big three, or what I call pump fake specialists. <laughs> oh, look at, look at Steven Jackson. He didn't like it. He didn't like that call. He's gonna challenge it. It's time for the Bring the Fire. It's presented by Taco Bell. So Ricky Davis. We'll go one-on-one -on -one against Amir Johnson. Yep. And you can see Steven Jackson is telling the big fella, Amir Johnson, force him left. Don't allow Ricky Davis to get to his right hand. Ricky's got 10 seconds to try to score. If Amir Johnson can get the stop, it will be trilogy basketball. Love bring the fire. I love it. You see him trying to force him left. Yep. Oh, and Ricky gets to his right, fades. And there's a good stop, and Trilogy will get the rock. Yeah, tried to force him left. Ricky still went right, but was unsuccessful. That's his, that's his move. So with the bucket, we can go to the half if Trilogy can knock down a three. understood that there was no team foul there. The defense won that challenge. And so Trilogy gets the rock. And the three, we would go to the half. Here's Jack. Pulls up. Of course, the Edwards, who's checked in with the board. Those balls need to clear it. Yep. And he throws it away. Yeah, see that turnovers on Edwards. When you clear the ball, you, and he's saying it's my fault, clear it. Dribble it, don't take one dribble. It's hard. Clear it with the dribble behind the three-point line until you can reset. So here's Jack. Five on the shot clock. 
And another turnover. Yeah, and you can see Jack was disappointed because in that situation, you know, he sets up James White. A little bit of what we call a shakeup. We talked about that in our last on Thursday in Milwaukee. Ricky knocks down that jumper. Five point lead for Trilogy. And even though no lead is too safe, you really don't want to dig yourself a double digit deficit here early in the game. Oh, good defense by Ricky Davis. You saw Jared Jack was trying to set up Amir Johnson for the alley oop. Yeah, and because they were successful early in the game on that alley oop, good adjustment by the ghost ballers. That's maybe when you need one of those bounce passes or, or pocket passes. They call that that foul on the ghost ballers. Alex Scales. He was trying to hold off James White. Here comes instant offense. So here comes Isaiah Briscoe. Good cut by Ricky Davis, and he bangs it home. That's why when you come off that bench, man, you got to be ready to play. A little backdoor cut there on Briscoe. He's out of position. Jerry Jackson, enough of this. Enough. Yeah, but you see, I love what Jerry Jack just did. When he went to the basket, it looked like the ball was about to slip out of his right hand, and then he basically reset in the air by touching it with his left hand and finished the leg. Nice, beautiful move. Scales misses that three. Here's Jack. This bucket, we go to the half. This pull up. Oh! Oh, hit him with that. Oh, my! Come on, Jared. That man's got a family. Don't do that. Jerry, Chad, hit him with the Hezzy, crossover, finish, and one. Like some old Tim Hardaway oh. senior stuff. My goodness. Wow. Then finish with the left hand. Smoke oh. and the chest. Yeah, the, the way my <laughs> wife is, she's going shopping since we've been here in Chicago. I need to. <laughs> I talked to Ice, Ice Cube and Jeff about that, man. <laughs> Here's the Avenue is expensive. You ain't lying. <laughs> it's Shot Town, baby. Here's Ricky Davis into Chris Johnson. He's got a mismatch. Turns. Misses the short turnaround. Five now on the shot clock. Briscoe, the kick out. Amir Johnson, he misses that three. Yeah, Amir's capable, you know, later in his career, he's become a, a capable three-point shooter. Scales. Lead is six. First team to 50 wins. You heard Iceman when he was mic'd up. He said, shoot your shot. They don't call that on Isaiah Briscoe. Did he use the shoulder to, to create space? There you go, yeah. Brushed him off a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that was that was an offensive foul. You know, one of the things I love about overall our the refs are consistent. They'll they're not just going to bail you out. Chris Johnson cleans up the mess. And all of a sudden the lead is now four. I don't think Trilogy can afford for Jerry Jack to get off to a slow start this half. Jack got it. Jack. Nice job of creating space on that pick and roll, especially with his man trying to fight over the screen. He's got 16 now. Step back by Johnson. Here's Briscoe. Drives. And lays it in. Yeah, Briscoe did a nice job. They basically took his left hand away from him. So, nice crossover. Here's Jack. See, in this situation, you got to get some help. They were fortunate at that time, but got to shrink the floor a little bit more with your defense. Davis lost it. And Jared Jack makes him pay. Yeah, he made him pay because he's very alert. He didn't have to take the ball back that time. 
18 for him, 10 point lead. Scales, drives, challenge, but foul. But see on that last play, Jerry Jack, very alert, turnover, turn the ball over. Defense is basically off balance. That was a great opportunity to go up and score. I want to see another bring the fire situation. Well, you see, Stephen Jackson was asking the ref, J just, I just need to know, what did you see? <laughs> and the ref was explaining to him, hey, this, this is why I called the foul. Get out of there. Scales missed it. And what I like about what Stephen Jackson did, very professional. That conversation didn't lead to a technical foul. You don't want to give away any points right now when you have a 13-point lead. You want to make the ghost ballers earn it. Here's Ricky Davis. The turnaround, no. Jack's got it. Mm. Crossover. Pull up. That would have brought the house down. It's a nice luxury for Steven Jackson to be able to bring Briscoe off the bench. Now he's resting Amir Johnson. Chris Johnson lays it in. Lead is 11. Risco. Could have laid it right up and in. Yeah. Scales. Shoots the three. Oh, Charles Gervin. He jumped off the bench and the entire team saying, lay it back up, but they'll take those three points. Three's better than two. You're right. Lead is eight. James White, off the glass. And uh, even though we, you know, took the season off last year for obvious reasons, uh, the fans have really responded and welcomed the big three back. And so has the play. It certainly intensified, especially with the playoffs brought to you by Verizon going to be in the Bahamas. Chris Johnson lays that one in. The lead is now eight for Trilogy. First team to 50. You win. You got to win by two. Jerry Jack in the lane got deep that's a good reason to take a, some of your vacation time <laughs> come hang out with us in the bahamas got you bring the bathing suit but i promise you your room your room in the bahamas will not be as nice as ice cubes <laughs> i think you right about that <laughs> nice little here's chris johnson working on james white Good defense. Fades. Left it short. That's one of the things on that last play with Ricky Davis cutting to the basket. Got to be able to cut. Put more pressure on the defense. Oh, great drive by James Flight White. The bucket and one. I would play James White more for the drive. You know, he's driven the ball the last couple of times. He's been successful. Make it make an outside shot. Here's James White going to the line to complete the and one. And Trilogy is now just nine points away from victory. White's got 13. That pass, too hot. Yeah, Chris Johnson. Yeah, because in that situation, that's when you need the line. That's a hard pass to catch for a big guy. Bullet bounce pass. Frisco, kick out. Jared Jack from the corner. White open for three. He thought about it. Off. And our last game, remember, Barbosa made one from the right corner, falling out of bounds. Jack, wide open. Money. In Milwaukee. What's that? Ice Cube singing it was a good day. It, so far, it has been one for Trilogy. And it's a good day today in Chicago. Yes, it is. Here's the air ball. Frisco. 
to Johnson from the corner. That's short. Scales. Oh, look like Scales got hit on the right, on his right elbow in that last shot. Got away with one. Jared Jack, little crafty veteran move with the little, with the little bump on the elbow. Boy, Briscoe and Ricky Davis, they're going at it. Yes, they are. Here's Jared Jack. Gets bumped by Scales. And they'll call that foul on the floor. And see, when you're a team like the Trilogy, you have a 14-point lead. You want to try to get in the bonus, get in the bonus offensively, put pressure on the Ghostbusters defense, force them to foul you, take really good shots. A lot of different combination of shots here that can help Trilogy win the game, but you don't want to turn the ball over. <laughs> Jared Jack going to that crossover, went off of his leg. Here's Ricky Davis. Yeah, Jerry Jacks, got, you got to move on to the next point. Arthur Ashe used to say that. Next point, you hit the ball in the net, next point, hit it out of bounds, next point. Legend of the tennis game. Oh, absolutely. Now we got Serena and Venus. Boy, they've had it. Serena's had an unbelievable career. Absolutely. One of the greatest. Here's Briscoe. Oh, good fake. And lays it in. Trilogy now just four points away from victory. We have two outstanding ladies coaching in the big three. Lisa Leslie and Nancy Lieberman. Hall of Famers. Yes. And both. Coaches of the Year. Yes. Ricky Davis powers his way to the home. Trilogy is just too stagnant right now offensively. They got to get some movement. Just kind of standing around. A lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Briscoe, you better be careful. You know, the referees going to call it just like they see it. That was a textbook foul, allowed him to make the call. But the worst thing you can do is get a technical in this situation with a 12-point lead. But it's good that referees allow players in the big three to be passionate. You're not trying to show the referee up or embarrass him. You just want him to get the call right. So now Trilogy just a bucket away from victory and would go to four and two. And just look at the depth for Steven Jackson. Now James White has played well. 13 points, he's on the bench. With Briscoe in the game, got a nice steal. Pull up, game winner comes off. Ricky. And that'll go out on Chris Johnson. Nice box out by Jerry Jack. Point game trilogy. Unless something happens, Jerry Jack needs to take this shot. <laughs> Lead is 14. The four by Ricky. No. Here it is. Here's Jack for the win. He hits it and walks away. <laughs> 